Hello and welcome to episode 22 of 31 in 31. I'm John from Just Another Horror Podcast. You can find us on Stitcher, iTunes, and Podomatic. Be sure to rate, review, subscribe to the show. Drop us a line, horrorcastings at gmail.com. We release the show every Monday. Tomorrow you're going to get Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. So here's what happened. Yesterday I was going to go with my wife to go watch... Ouija something or other part two or something. The thing is, I didn't know it was a part two. So, you know, I tell Cobra about it. And I'm like, hey, going to see Ouija 2 this weekend. He's like, Ouija 2? Have you seen Ouija 1? I'm like, Ouija 1? Hey, this is a sequel? So he's like, well, you might want to check it out before you, uh, you know, jump into a sequel or whatever. I'm like, oh, okay. So last night, last night I sit down and I watch Ouija which is literally what it's called. It's called Ouija it's from 2014. And there used to be this great podcast called Yeah, It's That Bad. And they would always read the reviews on uh, IMDb by this guy named Claudio. And his review was like the second one on this movie and it sums it up perfectly. This movie is unoriginal, including in its title. And he says this because there's like 10 Ouija movies. 10! That's just with the name Ouija in it. Go back to the 90s and there's like Witchboard 1 through 11 or... I don't know. There's a lot of Witchboard movies. So this one is from 2014. Is this one any good? Mm. No. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, here's what happens in this movie. Do you remember our review of the movie Stay Alive? It's, it's stay alive all over again, only instead of a video game this time, it's a Ouija board. And what happens is, this these two girls are using a Ouija board, they contact a spirit that lives in the attic of this house, and the girl hangs herself. So the other girl goes to her funeral, pokes her on in a room, because you do that at, you know, funerals or wakes or viewings or whatever the fuck they are. She's poking around in this dead girl's room and the mom comes up and, you know, she's clearly you know, upset that her daughter died because she's like, hey, you all right? I'm good. Okay, so anyway, they start playing with this Ouija board, this girl and four other high school students who go to high school, go to their lockers, stand outside, look sad. One of them looks like he's a college professor because he's so goddamn old playing a teenager. They never really do anything that, you know, has to do with school because... You know, this is a Hollywood movie. Nobody actually learns anything in high school. They just go there. And I'm not sure why they needed to make these kids high school students or make it during the school year because the, the stuff that they... Forget it. The stuff that they do wouldn't be going on during a school year. I am sounding like a curmudgeon. Why aren't you kids at school? What the hell are you doing playing board games when you should be learning? Sorry, just, that bugged me a little bit. Anyway, yeah, there, this movie's about a Ouija board, isn't it? So it takes 25 minutes for anything to happen with a Ouija board. They start playing with it. It starts doing the same old dumb shit that they always do, you know? Yes. No. Goodbye. And the candles blow out. And, and of, it's, it's, I, I've never seen a commercial for the actual board game of Ouija. Which, by the way, Milton Bradley, a game company made this board. They sell it in stores. Ha is Milton Bradley the devil? I don't understand this. What is what is so horrible about a Ouija board? It's a it's a piece of cardboard with a piece of plastic. It's plastic and cardboard. And they summon spirits? This This spirit is talking to them and they're like, oh are you touching it? Oh, I'm not touching it. Hey, stop messing around. Oh, next thing you know, they're banging their heads off of sinks and dying. There's water running for no reason. They're sneaking around in people's basements for no reason. People are getting possessed. And then Lynn Shay shows up out of nowhere. She's crazy. She's in a wheelchair. She's like, ah, ha, ha, ha. you call the ghost. And the ghost is stitches in the mouth and blah, 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 blah. This movie sucks. It's... It is what you would expect from a movie called Ouija. Except that the Ouija really doesn't play a whole lot of importance in a movie called Ouija. 
So, I'm not going to go see the second one now. Sorry. But you know what's really weird too is that I saw the previews for the second one. And I'm watching the first one. And I'm seeing a lot of what was in the previews for the second one happening in the first one. That can't be good. I don't recommend this movie. See you tomorrow.